Hi, I'm Diane Kennedy from Finch Frolic Gardens, and um, I want to talk a little bit about canopy and the importance of it. Today is a uh, day in October of 2016, um, several years into a drought that's going to last for a long time here in dry land San Diego. Um, about a month ago we had about a quarter inch of rain and then the last rain before that was about uh, six months before that. So what we don't have is adequate rainfall, but what we have, like today, instead of a good rainfall, is a lot of ambient moisture in the air, even enough to uh, make a light uh, dusting of water on the uh, dirt level on my cars. Um, but when you have canopy, you can capture all that. So I'm going to walk into our garden here and I want you to listen to the sound of the water dripping off of the trees because of the canopy, the subcanopy, the ground cover plants. Water is catching on these plants, forming larger drops rather than evaporating and falling to the ground. So here under the canopy of the food forest, we have rainfall on a day when it's not raining. So as rainwater or ambient moisture condenses on leaves, it forms droplets which fall to the ground, hitting other leaves on its way down, breaking and shattering to smaller drops, hitting mulch, like this wonderful leaf cover from the sycamore that's here, forming little puddles that gradually roll off and sink into the ground. So we are harvesting rainwater because we have trees. The moisture is kept in. The sheet mulch on the walkways keeps the moisture on the pathways so we don't have hard pressed compacted dirt that is sucking the moisture away from the trees and evaporating it. We have ambient humidity, which is keeping pollen fresh and viable. And we have wonderful water sources for all the birds and bees and native insects and lizards and frogs and other animals that all live in the forest and rely on this little bit of water for survival. And all those little animals are so important because not only for the obvious pollinization, but um, also on seed dispersal, but also because these guys shed and drop feathers, they molt, they drop food, they're messy eaters, they leave half of what they're eating, they poop and pee and die, and all of that organic material is part of how the earth regenerates itself and builds soil. And if we don't have the habitat for these guys, like all this canopy and subcanopy, <laughs> then um, we don't have adequate nutrition for our soil, and then we become addicted to chemical fertilizer, which closes up the holes in the soil exhaust it, and then we have dirt, and no habitat, and no moisture, and all this ambient moisture that floats in goes right on past us and dries out because of the thermal mass of the earth heating it up and evaporating it. So here in October, we're just about to have um, three days of uh, extreme heat again 
at the end of this week. October is our fire season. Um, it's my birthday coming up and the place is always on fire for my birthday. Um, but we do have these days of uh, moisture in the air. So if you plant trees and sub canopy trees and have ground cover and sheet mulch, then you can capture that water without mist nets, without rain barrels, and you can provide shade and cool the air as it's blowing through too. So just a little morning trip through the food forest.